project is lightweight concrete using a foaming agent guided by Mrs. Samya. Project members are Kartika and Aishwarya. Abstract. Lightweight concrete is a concrete which uses, uses an expanding agent to increase the volume of the mi mixture. It contains large number of voids. The voids in the lightweight concrete are created by foaming agent. Introduction. Lightweight concrete is a concrete which can be defined as a type of concrete which includes an expanding agent in that increases the volume of the mixture. It is lighter than the conventional concrete with a dry density of 300 kg per meter cube to 1840 kg per meter cube. It is lighter up to 87 to 23%. Application Foam lightweight concrete is used in the form of bricks, blocks or poured in situ in used in for thermal insulation. Fire rating of the foam concrete is far superior to that of the brickwork. Ba bulk filling, infill to spandrel walls, backfill to retaining walls, stabilizing soil, grouting of tunnel works or other applications of the lightweight concrete. These are the pictures of the applications of the lightweight concrete in construction field. It is used in the form of bricks in void filling in the precast walls. These are the properties of foaming agent. Foaming agent is used in the dosage of 0.3 to 0.6 liters per meter cube. And volume of foaming agent to the volume of water ratio is 1 is to 20. We have added an accelerator to increase the initial setting time of the uh, mixture. It is about 6 hours. These are the properties of the accelerator which is used in the mixture. Which is su supplies in the form of liquid and spe specific gravity is about 1.20. Mixed calculation of the sample cube is is used in the form of 150 by 150 cube and the weight of the concrete is volume into weight unit weight of the concrete is about 8.1 kg we have used a trial and error method since we don't have any standard method of mixed ratios available for the lightweight concrete hence the we have used three different mixed ratios in the which is 1 is to 1 and the weight of the cement is 4.86 weight of the fine aggregate is 4.86 and the water cement ratio is 0.35 and cement uh, mixed trial and error method is 1 is to 2 and 1 is to 1.5 and, and the, these are the respective weight of the cement and fine aggregate and dosage of the accelerator is about 2% of the weight of the cement for 3 different ratio the way different dosage of accelerator is listed below and this is, these are the preparation of the specimen we have used pre forming method of preparation of lightweight concrete cubes and we mix the cement slurry to the foam and created the cube and the curing is about 28 uh, two types of curing 7 days and 28 days curing the methodology we have chosen three different steps of methodology first one is composition water absorption and density composition is the primary physical property of the concrete and composition is defined as the maximum resistance of the concrete specimen to actual loading these are the compressive strength testing using a CTM. This is the failure pattern of the lightweight concrete cube. And compressive strength of the uh, concrete at 7 days test of dif different cement sample ratio is listed in this table. And which is for 1 is to 1, 1 is to 2. Or seven, no, for 1 is to 1, 7.55, 1 is to 1.5, 6.960 and 1 is to 2, 5.036. These are the graph for the composition of 7 day testing for different cement sand ratio and composition strength of the concrete at 20 day curing is 14.66 and 16.14 and 16.59 and this is the composition strength at different, uh, uh, different cement sand ratio and this is the composition strength after adding the accelerating admixture which is around 20, 21.03 22.369 and this is the graph for the compressive strength at 20 days during with accelerating admixture. And we have you also different, uh, differentiated the cubic specimen by adding different percentage of the foam. And the, these are the different uh, uh, compressive strength at 25 percentage, 50 percentage and 75 percentage curing. And the, the compressive strength is uh, graphically represented by 25 percentage, 50 percentage and 75 percentage foam which is listed here. The, com the comparison of different percentage foam and the compressive strength is listed and from the graph it is uh, it is well known that the compressive strength is of the 25 percentage of the cube 25 percentage cube is greater than the 75 percentage cube and 50 percentage cube and water absorption 
absorption capacity is measured as is measured due to the uh, foundation founding due to the due to the presence of porosity absorption capacity is determined by finding the weight of the surface dye sample after it has been soaked for 24 hours again finding the weight of the has it has been dried in the oven these are the water absorption percentage for different percentage of foam which is 25 percentage 50 percentage and 75 percentage and the average value of for the three different sample is calculated comparison of the water absorption at different percentage of foam in, in this graph it is clearly known that the water absorption capacity of the for 25 percentage is higher compared to the 25 percentage and 50 percentage these are the density of the specimen we have captured totally 36 cube and the density of the 36 cube are below 1840 kg per meter cube and it is known that the, it is lighter than the conventional concrete and these are the values of the density and all the value ranges between 1840 Compressive strength of different cement sand ratio and the effect of cement sand ratio on the compressive strength we have proposed three mixture of different cement sand ratio of 1 is to 2, 1 is to 1.5 and 1 is to 1. Compressive strength of 1 is to 2 and 1 is to 1.5 and 1 is to 2 at 20 THR for 14.66, 16.14 and 16.59 Newton per meter square. It can be seen that the mixture of the 1 is to 1 sand ratio gives highest compressive strength compared to the 1 is to 1.5 and 1 is to 2. Compressive strength of the cube with accelerating admission is more than that of the cube and setting time of the concrete is also about 5 hours earlier than the uh, normal mixture. For a 25% cube, the compressive strength is 14.66 and 75% it is 8.44. Compressive strength is increased by 42%. It is seen the detection in the density of the cube due to the presence of voids. It can be seen the mixture with 25% of fume is higher than the composition strength of 75% fume. This is because the higher the percentage of foam voids throughout the sample will be increased. This would result in decrease in the composition strength. Composition strength of the mixture will, with 50% foam and is slightly higher than the composition strength of 75%. And water absorption, the 75% of foam gives 2.48% of water absorption while 24% gives 1.279 which is small, smaller than the 75 percentage of fume generally aerated lightweight concrete or porous will have higher water absorption compared to the normal concrete 75 percentage of the foam gives the highest water absorption due to the presence of large number of voids and porosity this will result higher water absorption capacity since sample are capable to absorb more water when more voids are distributed in on it Lightweight concrete used in the water has to be protected by suitable material in order to avoid or may reduce water absorption of the concrete. Conclusion We conclude that the strength of the lightweight concrete are low for lower density and this resulted in the increment of the voids throughout the sample, thus decrease in the compressive strength of the concrete. There is an increase in compressive strength of the lightweight concrete in addition of accelerating admixture and also decrease in the setting time of this concrete. If the percentage of the foam is increased in the voids, and the voids increases and thus there is a decrease in compressive strength of the concrete. Increase in the percentage of foam increases the percentage of water absorption in the concrete. These are the references of the different uh, literature we have referred and thank you.